Hello everyone and welcome to Niche, a genetic survival game developed independently by Stray Fawn Studio. This is a game about um, s developing a species and progressing them over time, going through generations over generations and developing different genes to help them survive better through whatever environments they have available to them. Um, it's a turn-based strategy game and you pretty much just start out with a small, actually just a pair of, uh, of creatures and we will evolve them over time and hopefully not die out from starvation or attacks from predators and things like that. Um, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Now there is a um, tutorial available here through story mode basically. So we're going to go ahead and jump into there. I'm just going to name it after me here. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in to story mode. And I'll go through a little bit of the walkthrough here. I did try this out so I knew what I was doing before making the video, but um, we'll walk through this so you guys can get a feel for what to expect out of the game. Now we're going to come in with a little bit of a cutscene here. A little bit of a story about what's going on. Little group of animals there. Little uh, lonesome little ones there. Off on their own. Oh, it's a predator. Snagged. Snagged and taken away from their home. Oh, managed to free himself. Hopefully survive the fall, huh? Oh, okay, nice. Yes. He's all alone now. Poor little guy. The howling wolf nearby, that's never a good sign. Got a long history of wolves. The long dark. Ouch, that hurt. Look around. You are all alone, stranded on an island far away from home. Try and see if you can still walk. Click on Adam and then on a blue paw symbol to move. We got Adam as in Adam and Eve. So we can move to these tiles around us. So what need adjacent hexagon hexagonal tiles? It seems you are not injured, that is good news. It was a long day. Time to get some sleep. Click on the end day button at the top of the screen. Alright. And I'll pull press spacebar. The world looks brighter today. Time to explore this new place. Tip use your mouse. Right, so we can move around like this, rotate the camera, get different angles here, check out the lay of the land. You can also zoom in and zoom out. So, <clears throat> one thing we can do actually right here is a berry bush. And so we can gather this berry. Tasty berry is a great source of nutrition. Collecting more and building up a reserve sure would be helpful. Your food count is displayed here. Right. So this guy's actually really good with berry farming. Um, so, we're going to get into this a little bit. Um, but there's a lot of different things here. But basically, the reason... We're getting actually two berries for each gatherers because we have a collecting skill of two. And I, when I played this before, there's some other creatures that don't, so it's nice having that because that means we can get a lot more food from one bush in a lot less time. We also have strength here, is how much damage we can do. Um, we'll have some predator, uh, some some creatures that we can maybe feed on to get food. Um, we can also affect enemies with poison with venomous fangs. We got a little bit of an ability to swim in water. We also have very good movement here with our speed, runner's legs and hind legs. Uh, high fertility, immune to sickness, very nice. Um, eyesight, this is how far we can see, how good our hearing is, smelling, defense, and we got stealth, poison resistance, and cold resistance. And I think there's some other things on this 
this bar that could be here that we don't currently um, have available to us, but that's something we could get through um, breeding with other different species that we could modify our genes in the future. This island seems to be pretty deserted. A pathway of stone leads to another island in the distance. Maybe it's time to leave this place. Okay, so we could leave. Uh, we can't leave yet, though, because we are out of moves. Um, so there's these uh, little things on the bottom here. That's our animal energy. It indicates how much energy we have available. So right now, we only have two possible energy. So I'm actually going to collect a little more fruit first before we go. I want to make sure we go out there with good food. We're only eating one food a day, so it's one food per day. We only have that two actions, so I'm going to... But I do grow old over time, so it's important that we, we move on <clears throat> and find a mate. So we're going to move up towards this stone up here, which is going to be what they call a travel stone. And that will allow us to move from this island to a new island. We're going to pop down here, and then we're going to exit. Now, all animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. So I think that means we need to have them adjacent to the, the port stone in order for them to actually travel with us. Uh, since we're just on our lonesome right now, that's all we have to worry about. Okay, so... Did you hear that? It sounds like another animal is living on this island. Find the wild animal and offer it food to join your tribe. And switch perception mode in the bottom right corner of the screen. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. So you can see with our sense of hearing, I think, that's what we're seeing right now. So if we move up here, there's a mate. Now... We can offer Eve five food to join our tribe. And we have Adam and Eve. There we go. We now have <clears throat> Eve joining us here. Now we can explore the new island together. We can uh, tab to switch between the characters. So one thing we can also do is, I think it's gonna tell us to do this. I'm not sure. Um, so what we have down here is we have a stick count Stick count is used to measure our ability to build nests. So we can mate here. Soon your animals will become parents and raise the next generation. Your animals grow older. One day will die. And check their age in the bottom left corner. Of the oh, right. So right here is our animal age. So this is, our current age is seven days. And remaining, remaining lifetime is 18 days. And a day is just when we end our turns. So that's basically 18 turns and that's all we get. And there is negative status effects and things that can hinder our, our remaining lifetime, so we have to be careful about these things. So what we can do here is we can... Actually, let's go back to you for a second. Um, back to... No, is he out of turns? I guess he's out of turns. All right, so we're going to... Um, we're going to clear the side grass and we're going to build a nest. And that will let us actually have the baby. All right, let's clear this high grouse as well. There's a berry bush there. We're going to need that to feed ourselves here. Eve is pregnant. She needs a nest to give birth. Build a nest and rest on it for a night. So once we rest here, we will have a baby. Little baby. Your first offspring has been born. Now you are real family. So these guys up here, look at that. The baby's genes are a mix of its parents' Genes. Genes define how animals look and what abilities they have. Click on the family tree on the bottom left corner when having an animal selected to see the family relations. So we go into... <clears throat> well, we can we can click on... Um, what's our new baby? Um, I guess we can't click on the baby yet. Um, where did my baby go? It's right there. It's weird. So what we can do is go in here. And if we click here, we can see the relation between the new baby is to Adam and Eve. And then it shows a list of the... Oh, wow, look at that. It shows a list of the attributes that we have on the baby. Look at this. We enveloped um, more collecting with this birth. So now we are actually up to three collecting in one action with this guy. That's going to be amazing. 
and we are remaining stealthy um, pretty high fertility good speed um, <clears throat> yeah so so I really like that we got this high collection on berry bushes still I think that's very important I don't know what this does down here um, you can pick a different thing I don't know if that means that you're working towards that or if you're just looking to identify the, the um the animals on your list that actually meet those requirements i'm not sure yet okay so eve is going to sit there and protect the baby um adam is going to go out and try to see if we can hunt these things down here um we can also root to dig up the ground for food as you can see right here we don't have that good of a skill in that so we have a very low chance of actually succeeding doing that so it's not very efficient time wise for us to invest our time doing that because we're not good at it we are good at hunting though what we can do is go up here and beat this stag mole and then we can collect the meat we just got off of him that's much more productive because we just got three meat in one round whereas doing that on the dig we may not have gotten anything in the entire entire round so <clears throat> i don't know why this doesn't clear up but i think it will after a day here so Eve is still here. We actually don't need Eve to sit here necessarily. So I'm thinking maybe we can get up here and try to try to get this guy. What's our attack rating? Not very high on on her because it's only a medium body. Still pretty nimble though, which actually means we can still get some good food production out of these. So let's go ahead and gather because she's pretty good at that. And with that, we don't have. She's showing me Eve, so I could do what? I guess I could clear some grass, try to get some more nest materials. Let's clear that high grass. And now we are officially out of, of actions. Tutorial, this is the end. Your story begins here. Will you search the world for your lost family or happily live with your new one? Will your species become fierce hunters, nomad fishers, or sneaky herbivores? It's all up to you. All right, so we got another mole up here. These guys like to look at us as they move around. And it looks like a little, um, I think they're called a ready, something like that, sitting over there. So that's something that we could take care of with uh, with Adam. We could get a hold of this guy. I'm going to pop over here and just try to sneak up on him. Blah! Gotcha. What the heck is that guy doing? Can't, can I hit him? He moved out of his... Oh, he went underground. I see. We can't collect that hunk of meat we just got. Ooh, look at that. Four meats. Very good. So, <clears throat> this is much better than I did when I was practicing earlier. This is very good. Uh, it's nice to know a little bit more about what's going on. Alright, so, the baby can move around now, it looks like. Can't really do anything yet. Still too young to do much. We can really only move around and explore. Uh, so, you are done there. <clears throat> and Eve... You're still good at getting food from bushes, so let's go ahead and have you do that. No more food left in the bush, but our food supply is still pretty solid. Oh, she's actually also good at digging. I don't know if that's indicated here anywhere, but it's a good thing. Oh, we got one skill of digging, so that means we can do it. So maybe that means if you don't have any skill in it at all, you're not going to be able to, to do it efficiently, but you can still try. Uh, so we're actually going to dig here for food. We got an extra food out of that, so that works works just great okay and I think uh, she's got another move left uh, I guess I could clear this high grass and that's all we got all right and it looks like our baby turned into a like I guess a middle-aged and I don't know what they call it I guess it's uh let's see are you an actual adult now um no you're still so you're a teenager basically okay so we now have a teenager and our adults. Now we only got 15 days time left on... It's like both of our adults have the same amount of time left to to live. <clears throat> it's a terrible thing that is to say. It is true. And we can try basically to secure the means for another mate possibly. But we will need to get 10 sticks in place. For that we need to get a, gather all the sticks sticks or whatever we get from the high grass here so we got to clear these out and hope for sticks we're not getting anything so far unfortunately but we can clear out what's available and see if we can get anything 
So he's got a three gather, so this is going to be actually very much worth our time. It looks like the problem is, is that the bush didn't have three to gather, so we only got two, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and clear out some more. It looks like we got one stick that time to help build a nest in the future. I don't know if these flowers do anything. I don't think so. We can also destroy this nest to regain some materials. Looks like we get half, well, well most of it back. It's a very effective means of, uh, of trying to, uh, maybe we could have reused the nest. Maybe I, maybe I made a mistake in doing that. Um, I guess I'll have to experiment with that. We just got nine though, so we almost got enough for another round. And that's all we got for this round, okay. So we got another berry bush up there, I'm just noticing. So that would be useful. So we got two berry bushes to get food from. Actually, a third over there as well. Look at that. So this island is very lush. Let's not turn this off, because it just kind of looks glum and gloomy. I don't know what these are over here. They're interesting looking, though. So we can... Um, look at that. Oh, that's a banish. I don't want to banish anybody. That's evil. So if we position ourselves here... And there, oh no, I guess we can't reach that one. Darn it. Well, that's okay. We'll grab from this bush, because this bush is more fresh. And so and since he's still a teen, he's only got two... <laughs> he's only got two um, points, action points right now, unfortunately. Now also over here, we have a nut. Which I believe there's a tree hidden. Yeah, there's an oak tree hidden over here, and they drop nuts. But as of yet, we have nobody with any nut cracking ability. So we're not going to get very far with that. Now we could attack a berry bush and just harvest it up completely, uh, but we would lose the ability to keep continuing to use it to, um, to feed our tribe. So not the most effective thing to do there. Um, so I guess I'm going to move over there for a sec. And then you, I want you to clear out, so you can dig very well, so let's go ahead and uh, have you dig for some food there. You can also possibly dig up some moles more moles so this is a looks like some sort of view that shows us available food this just shows us I'm not sure just I guess predator things we can we can attack things that are living and breathing with warmth I'm not sure I like our food supply here though it's looking pretty good right now okay so let's get into seeing if we can get another nest as soon as possible here uh, let's go ahead and Destroy this high grass. Destroy this high grass. I need one more stick so we can do it. Um, we'll try to do a mate again and have another baby before too long. Um, let's get this off again. There we go. Okay, so the mole doesn't want to pop out yet. So let's have him go over here again. Actually, what I'm going to do is have him move over here. And clear out some more grass. See if we can get that stick. There we go. Now... Can we make you come over here? Is mating an option? Already pregnant. Okay, so we can make a nest again. There we go. Get ourselves another offspring, hopefully. All right, and then uh, Koanako here is going to get some more berries. And more? No, he's only got the two points still, unfortunately. Okay, so we will wait one more turn. And there we go, we got another offspring. Hey, little mole boy. How you doing? Let's go take him out. What is my strength on my Koanako guy? There's only one. So we didn't inherit the strength of Adam, unfortunately. Oh, he just went away. Darn it. They, they'd sensed me, and they got out of there. Little jerk. That's okay. We'll go ahead and get some fruit there. Keep Gotta keep the food up. Now we gotta feed four mouths. Even more than before. All right, uh, Konako, what should we have you do? We will have you gather berries. I'm going to wait for this uh, little guy. I think we can only actually bring three with us through the portal here, maybe. Unless we can stack. Can we stack? I don't think we can. That's unfortunate. Let's gather some more from that berry bush. Unless we can go in the water, but I don't think that's... All that's safe. Also, what is this about? Is that just decorative? I guess so. Because we're just on an island here. We can't really go very far. I know that I've seen little crustaceans in the water, so fishing is also something else we can do. 
Um, but our, our, our uh, species is not well designed for that, so we're more of a berry, berry gathering kind of people. As well as, uh, you know, a little bit of attack from our, from our father here, but we haven't gotten much in the way of genes here. Actually, that makes me wonder. Well, let's look at our new baby. We still didn't get the attack. We also didn't get that. We did get maintain high speed and stealth. But not much else here. And we got good hearing, eyesight. But uh, we didn't get any of the berry gathering abilities like we did previously. <clears throat> okay, so I think... How many days left do we have on our... We still have a lot of days left on our on our adults here. And actually, um, uh, our new guy is a is an adult now as well. So Osprey is several days behind there. Okay, what are we gonna do? Let's see. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these these nest materials back. Um, I don't think we need more offspring. I want to move through the portal, but now I'm a little bit afraid that we're going to end up losing one in the process. I don't know how. We can't really stack, I don't think. Well, that might be just how it has to go. We just take our youngins, maybe the father with us. Yeah, I'll just wait a couple more rounds until we got the, uh, the young one up to speed. So they're not just a little baby. Go ahead and have you dig up. And let's see, what else can you do for me? Nothing within that vicinity. I'm gonna have you just wait there. Okay, that's the last thing we got for that turn. Okay. Oh, right. All right, you buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy. Why don't you get me some more berries right there? Beautiful. And let's go ahead and hop over here. We can't see this is a nut cracking ability. We just we're not good at it, so it's not gonna get us very far, unfortunately. Um also let's see, what else we got? We got Koanako who can do some berry bush gathering here for us. Looks like the grass is starting to regrow right here. <laughs> it's love the la, 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 la. little head bob there. Um okay, and then Dugavanta is a youngin. I'm gonna have you start moving up towards the uh, the exit over here. As far as I can tell, there's just some little stingy moles that don't want to come out of the ground here. Nothing else. Nothing else I can really do at the moment. Little jerks, come out so I can feast on your faces. That sounds cruel, but it's true. That's what I want to do. Um, Eve, you going and go ahead and what can you do for me? No, so, so he doesn't have to move. Why don't you just get some bush berries there? We don't have any place else we can really do any digging, can we? Doesn't look like it. What is that right there? Maybe we can get some of that in a clamshell? Anybody else got some turn? You still have a little bit of a turn. What can we do with you? I don't think there's really anything to do there. That's okay. Let's get this tutorial window out of here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm curious about this. Oh, a little rabbit popped up. Hey, buddy, buddy. Gotcha. Now we got some heap of meat. <laughs> Look at that. Four meat. Very nice. I think this is time to move on. Um, I'm going to try to move her up there to see if we can save her, but I don't think we can, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> I think we're not going to be able to have enough room to take more than three with us at least where that pos is positioned it's from what i can tell anyways um you you're gonna get grab some more berries for us before you move along oh even more huh that's okay we'll move you up though now we're good at digging that's the that's the thing that i'm not happy about is that we're gonna lose our digging trait from her which is uh kind of a bummer so it looks like the little head bobber thing only work whoa it's like exorcist going on blah, 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 blah. Um, only works on the people that still have action points, so that's kind of something to note. Um, let's get the berry out of there. More berry. Beautiful. Alright, uh, how's our age doing? How are we doing on age? We're getting there. We've only got nine days left. So it is time to kind of head out. Why can we not move up there to that tile? 
Is do I have to move down first? I guess so. There we go. And you, I want you there. And maybe the flower patch indicates what allows us to teleport. Maybe that's what it is. So maybe we can take them all. I'm going to go ahead and assume that is true. And we'll get her up to there. And then we can try it. So that's what banishment is all about. Because we probably only have so many spaces we can take with us uh, to head out. So from here, we are going to go to the next island. All animals on port fields migrate to another island. Animals outside the port leave the tribe and will be gone forever. Treble. Let's see if they all make it. Traveling. Traveling. Yes, they all made it. Fantastic. All right. Well, that pretty much sums it up for us. We can take them all as long as they're in a the little flower patch. So maybe this even indicates that we have all of these. Maybe just these. I don't know. Either way, it looks like we can take a lot with us on the next run. Look at this island. This is different than the last time I was here. Also, that is two options we have available. There's one there, and there's one over there. But I think that's going to be it for now. We've jumped into this, and uh, we are surviving okay just fine. Uh, you know, we've got Adam and, and Eve are a little bit um, short on their lifespan, but we do have two youngins here that uh, can continue to thrive and build up the species. And maybe we'll meet some newcomers up in this area up here and continue to evolve our species. But for now, that is going to be it. That is all the time I have today. Please let me know if you like this game, if you'd like to see more. Drop a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more and get notified about what's going on. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.